Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, I want to go ahead and explain to you what higher order functions are um, and basically how you can chain functions. So the first topic is higher order functions. And a lot of times we'll hear this term passed around, but what does it really mean? So let's look at a basic function. And this function is just going to add two numbers together. So it's going to take in A and B, and it's just going to return back the result of a and b. So if we log this out, if we call sum on 2 and 3, we should get 5. And that makes sense, right? Um, but what if we did something like this? What if we create a me method right here, a higher order function, that it's going to actually take in a function and it's going to uh, call our function um, with uh, with whatever values we pass in, right? So here we go. So we have a function. It's going to take in a function, and it's going to take in some values. And what it's going to do is it's going to call the function with the values. So the way I can execute this now is I can say var sum is a function, and it's going to take in the values. And uh, again, we'll just change this out to be values. And what I can do here is I can create a variable called uh, called total inside of here, we'll set this to zero, and what we could do is we can loop through the values, so we can say values dot for each function value, and we can do total plus or equal to value, and then we'll just return total. Um, so now I can call execute, we will pass in sum, and I will pass in this array of three and four, and now if I look here, I can say var result, is equal to execute of sum and three and four. And if we log out, what's the result? Now we're getting seven. So what we've done is we've created basically this idea of um, a higher order function. So now we've created this more reusable function that is used to uh, take in a function and some more arguments. And basically it can just return back to us a function with uh, whatever arguments that we pass into it, right? And you know, we could even have uh, Say we want um, we want to change this change this function out to just be a greet function, and this function just takes in a name. It's just going to return hello plus name. So now what I can do here is I can say um, execute greet and Theo, and I can say var result, and if I alert the result. What do I get? Hello Theo. Same if we change the Theodore. Hello Theodore. So now we've created, like I said before, we have this idea of a higher order function. And the next thing that I want to do is look at uh, what's called function chaining. And this idea is very popular in a library like jQuery, right? Where you have, say you'll get uh, a certain class, right? And this class might be uh, dot box, you know, something like that. And we want to keep we want to do add class, you know, we'll add um, hover, whatever, and then we will remove class, and we'll keep chaining on all these methods, right? And so I think this is a good concept to understand in regular JavaScript, right? So let's let's look at this, right? So we have a we're going to create a constructor which is going to be a person, and all the, all we're going to do here is it's going to take in a name, and what we can do inside of here is we'll return an object where we'll say it's going to have a few methods on it. It's going to have greet and greet is a function and all it's going to do is say also log welcome plus name and we can also return this and we can create a few more methods on here but uh, actually I don't want to build them on made a mistake. I don't want to build them on um, on the person itself, I want to build them on the prototype so they can be shared across all instances. So we'll say dot greet function and uh, say this dot name is equal to name. And so what I can do here is I can say um, console.log welcome plus um, this dot name. And then let me just make sure it works. So we'll say var person is a new person. And we'll say Theo. We'll say person.greet. 
welcome Theo okay that works and I need to make sure I don't I'm not using this on this so okay cool so welcome Theo um, and now what I want to do now is call um, dot speak right I want to build out a method called speak and what it's saying is cannot read property speak of undefined um, and the reason for this is because we haven't actually what, what this is looking for, this is looking to the left and it's saying, okay, greed is a function. You're trying to call function on, you know, what, what, what's the, this value, you know, what are you referencing here? So what you do is you return this at the end of your function and that's going to allow you to have access to create this chaining effect. So now if we create this method called speak, we are no longer going to get, um, undefined. We're just going to get nothing right here. But if I say constant log, I am speaking and similarly return this, we can create this, um, you know, sort of, uh, hold on, let me bring that back. So we can create this uh, sort of chaining effect right here, dot create, and my bad, dot speak, right? And we can keep, we can keep calling it as many times as we want, right? And so now we're gonna get it three times, and that gives us that more friendly um, and sort of, you know, less of a cognitive load in terms of thinking about um, our functions, right? So that's just two tips I wanted to let you guys um, in on. Maybe you knew it, maybe you didn't. Um, but yeah, guys, awesome. So, um, oh, and what, one last thing I wanted to share is I just found this today in, in functional programming. I didn't, I, I guess I've never tried this, but right, so you have a method right here called, again, sum, and this just takes an A and B, and returns A plus B, you can actually log out the length of the function itself. So we're going to get two. Hold on, let me just get rid of all this stuff. All right, cool. So we get two right there, right? And then if we put C, we're going to get we're going to get C or we're going to get three, right? So that's the length of arguments. I mean, I guess that sounds kind of trivial, and maybe it is, but I never really explored that until today. So um, cool, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.